All right, so right now what we're going to do is we're going to do some examples of a frequency distribution for qualitative data, a frequency bar graph, relative frequency bar graph, and a pie chart. So let's start with this data. So we asked some people what their pets are, and these are the responses we got. We got cat, dog, dog, fish, cat, rabbit, dog, cat, fish, cat, dog, 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 cat, dog, cat, cat, dog, fish. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a frequency distribution for this qualitative data. So we're going to start out, I'm going to say, okay, so these are people's pets, and I'm going to break them into categories. So we have cats, dogs, rabbit, and fish. Okay, so I've got my four categories. And so my next step, now I'm going to use the helper column, I'm going to use a tally. You don't have to, you could just go straight to a frequency, but I figure I can use the tally and make it, maybe it'll make it a little bit easier. So I'm going to put my tally column in here, and I'm just going to go through and I've got Cat, dog, dog, fish, cat, rabbit, dog, cat, fish, cat, dog, 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 cat, dog, cat, cat, dog, fish. So I've got my tally. I can then use that tally to come up with the frequencies. So I'm just going to use an F for frequency. So I add those up. I've got seven. Here I've got eight. I've got one. And I have three. Now I'm going to sum those up to see how many I have. Seven plus three is 10, plus nine is 19. And then I'm going to do a quick sanity check just to make sure I got all of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Okay, so I got all my data points. So right there, without the tally column, we have our frequency distribution. The tally column is just a helper. You can use it if necessary, but you do not have to include it. Okay, so now I'm going to find relative frequencies. Now remember the relative frequency is just the frequency divided by the sample size. So 7 over 19, 8 over 19, 1 over 19, 3 over 19, which if we add that up, that's 19 over 19, which gives us 1 just as it should. Now because I know I'm going to be doing these graphs and such, I'm going to put these in decimal form. So we have 0 0.37, 0 0.42, 0 0.05, and 0 0.16. And remember, whenever dealing with decimals, I'm a fan of just doing two decimal places. I'm perfectly happy with that. There's only one point in the course where I ask you for more than that. So two decimal places is great. We add these up and that actually comes out to 1.00. Remember, if it didn't come out to be exactly 1.00, then that could happen from rounding. We did have to round these numbers. But if it gets too far away from that, then you probably have a mistake in there somewhere. So there's our relative frequencies. And then we're going to find our percents. And our percents are just the decimal turned into a percent multiplying by 100 or shifting it over two places. So we have 37, 42, 5, and 16, which adds up to 100, which is good. And then we're going to have degrees, which degrees is just take the relative frequency and multiply it by 360 which gives us 133.2, 151.2, 18, 
0. 0.0. Yeah, it was just 18, but I put the 0 0.0 because everything else had a decimal place in there, so I put one in. And then 57.6, which if we add those up, comes out to be 360, which is what we want to see. So there we go. So starting with this list of pets, we created a frequency distribution, and then we also found the relative frequencies, the percents, and the degrees. So we're going to go from this and create some graphs, and that will be in the next little helper video.